Now, once you have this in place, now I'm gonna show you how to use Facebook's automation rules to actually save you time so you don't have to monitor everything 24 seven. So I'm gonna show you how I use the rules to actually monitor and, and how I actually set up the, uh, the, the rules for the testing. So what you're gonna do is, you're gonna go over here into the menu and choose automated rules under here. And it's gonna look something like this. And this one I actually already have some rules set up, but it's to show you how you create a rule. You just go up here to the top right hand corner and choose create rule. And then you have all these different options here. So you can set stuff at the campaign level, ad set level or ads level. If I'm doing something about turning off, I'm usually doing it at the ads level because I never, ever, ever want to turn off an ad set or a campaign unless I know I'm never going to use it again. I find that there's too much of a reset when you turn it off and then turn it on again. But when you turn off ads, it doesn't have as big of a impact. So that's why as a general rule, I prefer to turn off ads only. So for example, you know, maybe it's turn off ads and then here you can build as complex or simple a rule as you want. They have some of the more common stuff here. You can, um, you know, you can just kind of go drill down here and just create whatever rule that you want and um, you can combine them as well. So I'll show you how to do that. Um, and then you can decide how often you want it to run. I prefer just to leave it as continuously. And then you can have it email you or not. Um, in, in Facebook, it will definitely notify you as it goes through. So let me show you. So for example, I have this one here that I call turn off after 400 impressions. So I have, it applies to the ad level. And then I chose lifetime impressions for that ad of greater than 400. And I also put in the campaign name has to include the word testing. This way it's not going to turn off like all of my ads. If I have a whole bunch of different campaigns running, it's only going to look at the campaign that has the word testing in it. And I'm looking at it for the lifetime and I want it to run continuously. And I just, it just wanted to turn it off. So then it'll notify me about that. So that's one rule that I have. And so this way, my test isn't gonna go over too long. I don't have to worry about it. Uh, I can just set it and forget it until this is done. And then I can set the next set of active ads and it's not gonna overspend on me. Some of the other ones I like to do is, and this is just based on my experience running this stuff, is if it's had 150 impressions and there are zero link clicks, then I just wanna turn off the ads. So um, I, I, this is just for the testing framework. I'm not, it's clearly not gonna pull. So I just have that turned off. The other one that I've also done is I'm looking for on average 50 cents or lower in this testing framework per link click. So what I've done is if there's more than 200 impressions, if the cost per link click is $1.50, then I also want to turn it off. That was, just, this is just something that I've been working on. Um, Facebook has a, um, uh, they have a warning here because they think that it should be more than 200 impressions, but I, ha I have a very specific reason for doing this. So I'm basically looking at turning stuff off if it's three times um, what I'm expecting, which is about 50 cents per link click. And um, so that's why I do that here. And I think that about halfway, about 200 seems to be about right to me. Again, you don't have to do this. This is just a rule that I like to put on there because um, it's not even going to be in the top winner anyway if it's like at $1.50. So these are the rules that I use for testing. Um, like I said, you can create a whole bunch of other rules here in order to apply it. You can even have it adjust the budget. For example, maybe you want to increase the budget every couple days by 20%. You can do that too. Um, so that's actually really uh, they have some really helpful things in here. Or if you're doing a manual bid, I'm not going to cover a manual bid because that's just such a whole other different animal and you really have to be quite advanced to be doing manual bid. I also find that with Facebook, you really don't have to do manual bid as much anymore. You can really just lean into the algorithm and let Facebook do the heavy lifting for you. So you have an, a wide variety here, which is great. There is software that you could use like RevealBot, for example, that will also monitor all of this and will let you create a whole bunch of other rules. But I find that the ones inside of Facebook are perfectly fine for me to use and manage ads. And it's included, so you might as well use it, right? And so 
play around with this, take advantage of it um, to start using it to help you so that you don't have to monitor your ads 24 seven. I would just caution you, don't do a set it and forget it though. You know, you wanna run it, it's supposed to be here to help you manage it, but I wouldn't set it and forget it. Um, I would definitely keep, be keeping an eye on it. Like for example, I am sort of watching out for those notifications to come through because, you know, who knows, uh, for whatever reason, maybe the automation doesn't work or you have a setting in there that's not applying properly. So you don't wanna overspend, especially if you have one that has turn off the ads. So that's my only little, uh, advice to you there for managing your automation rules.